Hello, welcome to this MagiCAD for Revit new feature webinar. This is a new feature for MagiCAD 2019 uh, and this tool is the uh, new and improved uh, device connection with rectangular uh, connections on the devices. So let's take a look at what the improvement to the tool does and what it enables you to, uh, to connect in. So firstly, um, we've got a situation here where we have a number of grills. You can see these this cluster of three here. Um, the connection is facing into the uh, the duct. Uh, but what you'll notice is that there are different, there's slightly different heights and offsets um, in the project, and also their offset in the horizontal plane as well. You can see there. So I just want to demonstrate how the tool can work even without you know, completely uniform uh, devices. So first of all, I'll just highlight the uh, uh, terminals I want to connect in. Use the shortcut here, uh, device connection, click on the duct, and you will see that we now have a option window up here where we can choose the routing. In here, you can see a little 3D preview. It's quite nice as well as if you want to have a spin around there as well as the, uh, obviously the preview here on the left. And you can see what's going to happen. Uh, as a solution, but now I want taps rather than T, so I'm going to choose that option instead. So we'll convert them all to taps, so you can see now they've gone to more of a shoe type connector in there instead. Uh, but these are two 90 degree bends, so maybe I want two 45s in there instead. So you can see there's the solution, so it comes off the side at 45 degrees and drops onto the, onto the device at that level. Uh, the other option is you can actually come uh, uh, straight off the bottom want to do that as well and just go straight in you can see there like that uh, but I think I want to come off the side at 245 degree angles so I'm going to go with that and like normal if you want to choose flexible duct work at the end of course you can you can choose this uh, and then choose a length uh, that's suitable here and if you want to type your length in there let's say 600 and press refresh and you get a little add the um, flexible rectangular duct work to the end of that as well and press OK and there's the solution you can see now it's now put the, the grills in connected to the, the ducts with a flexible connection as you see fit if you, obviously if you drag that around it will move the flex as normal like so. Um, the other uh, aspect of this feature um, is uh, we have a situation like this where you have the actual connector coming off as sort of parallel with the direction of the duct so we'll have to turn through 90 degrees to connect it in so let's have a look at that one click on the uh, device device connection then you click on the, on the duct where you want the connection to be made and then you'll see that this comes up obviously with a similar option menu here um, and you can see it's going to come off uh, but what you have here you have two different options for angles you have horizontal and you have vertical that's obviously because we've got to turn uh, and drop down in the Z direction and also come across in the X and Y. So I might just want to go with 90, like so. And then I've got some options here for how I want the, the, the connections to be made uh, off here. So I don't want to come off the bottom, I want to come off the side. Again, 245, just like the other one. Press OK. And there we go, it's come off the side. Drop down 45 degrees to the level, gone swept through a 90 degree. And then put the flexible ductwork on the end, as you know, like that. So uh, that's the improvements to this new tool. Uh, thanks very much for watching this webinar, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.